Welcome to Array Solutions Lab. My name is Jay. I'm WX0B. Today we're going to be talking about the OM2000A+, the new automatic linear amplifier in the OM power line, and the new BPF6, OM6 BPF bandpass filter system, which matches the amplifiers. Uh, the OM2000A+, is a 2 kilowatt linear amplifier that's sitting on top of the OM2500A. And you can see the difference is quite substantial. In a very small box, we have 2,000 watts high efficiency power. The setup today is that instead of running a transceiver through the linear and the bandpass folders, we're going to be using our vector network analyzer, the VNA UHF. And so we have the input and output going through the amplifier to the filter, in and out, and looking at the waveforms on a screen here on the computer to demonstrate the filter response. Today's hookup is using an ICOM 7600 over here through the CIV bus into the amplifier. The CIV bus is just a simple 3.5 millimeter stereo cable. If we had an Elecraft, uh, Kenwood, Yesu, Flex Radio, we would use the DB9 connector here for transceivers. Also, we have a cable which is basically sending BCD data from the amplifier to the bandpass filter to give the filter its information as in a 4-bit digital code to switch filters. Very simple setup. Right now we're on 160 meters and you can see it's displayed on the amplifier. 160 meters is on the bandpass filter and if we look at the screen it shows the response from uh, 1 megahertz all the way up to 30 megahertz and these lines here in are, are the amateur radio bands. This is the 160 meter band. Here's where 0 dB is, and you can see on, 100, on uh, 160 we have 0 dB attenuation, and on the adjacent band we've got about 55 dB attenuation, and way down to almost 90 dB attenuation on 7 megahertz. If I change bands, just by simply hitting the switch, going to, let's say, 7 megahertz, you'll see... The LEDs change on the bandpass filter to 7 meg. The amplifier is tracking the radio. And you can see the change on the filter system display. Let me take it back to 160 meters. And we'll get a plot on 160. And I'll just change up to 20 meter band. And you can see the plots change on 20 meters. As I change bands, I'll continue up to, for instance, 15 meters. <clears throat> the filter will switch. And you can see the performance of the filter is quite good on 15 meter band. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.